It's Sunday morning, June 4th, 2023, and it's time to do some more copper. But before we do more, I want to figure out my coverage. Okay? Measuring the poles, not the poles, they're on the pole, the wire, the copper wire. <clears throat> it's not working with me. I already measured them, but you know, I'm measuring them all the way up. I'm measuring not just the pole, but the, how far the antenna is. This is the arbor, and it is eight feet above ground. 17 feet center. So let's see what 17 feet is. So I got the camera sit right by the pole. And I'm going to go stand at 17 feet. Right here. Right here, 17 feet. And then 17 feet. Right here. 17 feet here. Didn't quite reach the fence. Okay, bed, or pole number two is in the hydrangea bed, and it is six feet four inches. And remember, I'm rounding, so that'd be 15 center. And let's see how far that takes us. But look at those beautiful white spider lilies. They've had no, uh, none of those lopper bugs on them eating the blooms. And I found them everywhere else that I have lilies that they're eating the blooms. And I haven't found any on these. So maybe the copper has something to do with that. I don't know. Let's measure this out. So I measured 15 up the hill, which goes towards the arbor one. And that marker, um, I will go up there and show you, is almost lined up with the other one. Okay, can you see the pinwheel right here in front? Covering everything here. They're so close. Okay, the camera is right by the pole. And you can see the 15 foot marker right over there in the other flower bed, which is a few feet, several feet away from the fence. Okay, I'm right by pole two, going 15 feet out the other way. And we almost reach the three circle or the three tree bed. I put the paver as a marker because I'm out of the pinwheels. Okay, 15 feet out. I've marked it with the paver there by the measuring tape. Okay, camera is lined up with pole three. It's in the three tree bed. And it goes right to the middle of the ginger. Right in the center of the ginger bed that's uh, where the tape's laying. And then I'll go up there and show you how close the other markers are. Okay, that's from pole three. Right there is the pinwheel from the arbor. And right there is the pinwheel from pole two. So everything is pretty close. There's just a little gap in here. Okay, we're right by pole three in section one. And going towards pole two, 15 feet, and they actually cross each other. So the marker over here is the 15 foot mark for pole two, and the marker over here is the 15 foot 
marker for the pole that's behind me. Pole three. 15 feet down the hill from pole three. I placed the paper there by the measuring tape. And 15 feet going towards the walkway. It almost makes it. There's a little paver there um, by the measuring tape and the stump. Okay, this pole is the smallest pole I have. And it measured, it measured three foot and a half inch from the ground to the top of the copper. So that, and I'm rounding ten foot center. So ten feet up the hill, there's the marker on the tape. And you can see the other marker right there that came from the bed, three tree bed. They almost touch, but not quite. There's just a little gap. And 10 feet towards the road or corner of our property. Ten feet towards the path. There's a marker on the tape. And 10 feet down the hill. Again, the paper marker. This is a Japanese ginger that's in the bed with a small uh, three foot pole. And as you can see right here, it looked like a cutworm came and ate it. But then this came up and this came up. And this is one of those plants that I'm doing a couple years on it before I post it. But it has never brought up more than one plant. So I don't know if that has to do where I moved it into a different spot. But I think it's the copper because it only came up one plant to begin with. And then I put the copper in, or it, then it got bit, and I put the copper in, and those popped up. This is the last pole that I have in, in section one, and it measured four feet two inches, but I'm rounding, and I'm also rounding my foot from center. And I got 12 feet from center. So let's see what that is. 12 feet up the hill, gets us right underneath the edge of the mulberry. Continuing down the hill, 12 feet, there's a paver um, on the tape measure to mark it. And it's just, you know, a few feet from the fence line, property line. Okay, that one's kind of hard to see, but it's just midway um, underneath the fan palm. Um, just past all the little trash stuff I got collected there. That's kind of a catch-all area. Ignore that. <laughs> and then going into the garden, there's a marker there right in front of the measuring tape. Okay, now we are in section four. This is the trellis that has the purple passion fruit on it. And, um... It measured seven foot three and a half inches. Again, I'm rounding and six feet center. Okay, so 16 feet up. There's a paver there at the 16 foot mark on the measuring tape. Okay, from here I'm right by the copper wire on the trellis and it goes right to where we stopped clearing. And then 16 feet going towards the road, it takes us in just past the second row of um, sugarcane. Okay, and then six feet. Okay, then 16 feet towards the property line, we get gets us halfway through this sugarcane field, a little area I have. It's about halfway. It's hard to see the marker, but it's in there about halfway. Okay, we're still in section four, and this is the trellis for the lufa. And it measures it measured seven feet seven feet five inches. So we go sixteen feet center again. And then sixteen feet away from the trellis with the lufa on it. Is right where we stopped clearing our property line. No, it's not the property line. Our property's past it. It's right where we stopped clearing for this section. 
All right, 16 feet towards the road. Um, I think you can see the marker there. There's another marker right there from the other trellis that's right over here. And then 16 feet towards the property line gets us um, right there, the marker. You can see the tape where it ends. So that marker, and then this one here, that marker there, they lap. Section four. Okay, 16 feet going up the hill. Gets us uh, a few feet away from the irises and that only as I have it planted. Okay, we're in section two, Blueberry Hill. And I have one here, and then one right down there. And uh, we're going to make sure the bottom one first. Okay, section two, pole two, just on the bottom, Blueberry Hill, measured seven foot six inches, and 16 feet from center. It's right where the paver's at, at the end of the tape. Okay, pole two, Blueberry Hill, going towards the road. I put the marker at 16 foot, which almost makes it to the other side of the path, but not quite. Okay, 16 feet away from the road into the property. Right there's the paver. And that is just across the walking path. Okay, we're still in section two, pole two. Six feet, 16 feet up the hill. I believe you can see that paver. Section two, pole one, 16 feet up the hill. I placed the marker up there, the paper marker. 16 feet going into the property, gets us um, right into the path. Pole one. 16 feet going down the hill. You actually pass, I actually pass the other pole. So we get a double whammy hit in here. This is covering all the blueberries, and it should help the pawpaws. Section 2, Blueberry Hill, pole 1. 16 feet towards the road. Uh, gets us right almost center of the walkway through there. So this is a great visual for me. I'm all hot and sweaty from walking around, trying those little pavers. But this helps a lot. Good visual points. I can see what's being covered according to what they say and what isn't. But first, let's get to the fruit trees. Okay, this is my Anna apple tree. And last winter, I cut the top of it. It was like nine feet. I cut off the top. So now I'm going to chop it quite a lot off, cut off those suckers, cut off the top, and do the copper thing. And an apple. It's my largest one, largest apple tree. Alright, here we go. I'm using the same wire as I have been. And I'm just going to take my copper wire and wrap it around the anise trunk. So I have an idea of how big it is. And then I'll just cut it. But this time I'm going to be adding this copper. It is um, wrapped around Oops, here we go. See? And then this will be wrapped around the other copper. So all I've done is take some out. I don't know if this is the right amount that I need or not. I've never done this before. I don't know what I'm doing. And I got my other piece.
then I'm just going to wrap it. And I'm just going to keep wrapping it. I'm going to move this out of my way while I wrap. And I'm just going to keep doing that. And then I just cut the end off and kind of pushed it in. And we're going to put it around the and an apple tree. Okay, there's one. Uh, hopefully I did it right. The opening's at the south. Um, the center back faces the north. And it's not actually touching the tree, but around the tree. So... We'll see if it even stays there. Okay, I got three more apple trees to do. And this is Joy, the last of the apple trees. Okay, this is the last apple tree that I'm doing. And, um, well, it's the last one I have. Um, it's supposed to be at a 30 degree angle, but it was too hard for me to set it like that. Um, these are not very stable. I might be changing it. We'll see how it goes. If it works, it works. If it don't, I'll change it. Oh, some people put little balls on the end too. But I don't know what the purpose of those were. Like little wooden balls. Or beads. Okay, so I ran out of wire, out of the little wire, and um, the last few that I got done, I um, did not put them up on the bamboo sticks. I'm just laying them around it. So I'm going to use this bamboo pole and wrap it with the same thick wire as always, clockwise going up. Okay, this is the new pole I just made, and it was five feet above ground, including the top of the wire, up to the top of the wire, so that would cover past the fencing behind it, up past the um, rows, which would connect with the um, arbor, and then... I don't think it quite reaches down there to that one. I have to measure it. But it would overlap this one here, which is that one there. So it would reach, connect with, overlap that one. Okay, this is the new pole in section one along the walkway. So that will cover all of the top section from the fence over to the walkway. It will double lap right there with that pinwheel. And it will go to the top of the hill there. And then down to the middle of the ginger bed, which will lap that pinwheel there from the arbor.